In this video, I'll show you how to model alternating current using the sine wave. Let's start off by looking at what a sine function looks like. Your typical sine function looks like this. y is equal to a, which represents your amplitude, sine bracket bx plus c. In order to model it using alternating current, you need to convert it so that it looks like this, where you have i, which represents your current, is equal to the maximum current times sine omega t plus phi, where this symbol omega represents your angular velocity, this symbol represents your phase angle, and your outputs in terms of amps. The question reads, a certain alternating current has an amplitude of 1.5 amps and a frequency of 60 hertz. Taking the phase angle as zero, write the equation for the current as a function of time. Find the period and find the current at t is equal to 0.01 seconds. Let's start off by writing out this function. I is equal to the maximum current. In our case, the amplitude is 1.5. So the maximum current is 1.5 sine omega t plus phi. Now we're also told that the phase angle, which is represented by the symbol, is 0. So let's make a note of that. That is equal to 0. And we are told that the frequency is 60 hertz. There's a relationship between frequency and period, and it's shown right here. We can actually find the period, and then subsequently find omega using this formula. So let's go ahead and do that. Frequency is equal to 1 over the period. The frequency we're told is 60, 60 cycles per second, and that's equal to 1 over the period. Therefore, our period is equal to 1 over 60. And the way I found that is I isolated for a period, multiplied both sides by period, and then divide both sides by 60. Now what can we do with the period? Well, as discussed, we can find out what the angular velocity is. And I'll use this formula, 2 pi over omega is equal to period. So 2 pi over omega is equal to my period of 1 over 60. I'll isolate for this symbol now by multiplying both sides by 60. Watch what happens. Multiplying this by 60 and multiplying this side by 60 gives me 120 pi over omega is equal to 1. If I multiply both sides now by omega, I end up with 120 pi is equal to omega. Next, what I'll do is substitute this value into my formula. And if I do that, I'll erase everything else and start from scratch, 120 pi t plus phi, which was at 0. And now, now that we've created our current function using sine, we have to find the current when t is equal to 0.01. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's substitute t is equal to 0.01. And using our calculator, 1.5 times sine 120 pi times 0.01. Now before you press the equal sign, make sure that your calculator is in radians. Ours is in degrees right now. And to do that, I simply change it to radians, click equals, and I end up with a current of negative 0.8816. Current is equal to negative 0.8816 amps. And there you have it. That is how to model alternating current using the sine wave.